What's up, y'all? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I am back again with another motherfucking video. What's up? Okay, so we're about to do Scorpios dealing with a Virgo. What the fuck going on in y'all connection? Okay, so what's up, you guys? I hope you guys are doing good. Yes, I took a break, but I'm back, okay? All right, so Scorpio is dealing with a Virgo. You can have Virgo anywhere in their chart. They can have Scorpio anywhere in their chart. Honestly, I suggest you guys listen to all the videos. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit in there for everybody, everybody, everybody. All right, so what's up, Scorpios? How y'all doing? We're going to do Scorpios dealing with a Virgo. A lot of sexual tension, guys. I don't know if y'all feel it, but boy, I'm feeling it, okay? Go ahead and take a cold shower. You know what I'm saying? All right, Scorpio's dealing with a Virgo. What's going on, all right? Damn, Ten of Wands. Jeez Louise, Seven of Cups. Uh, Scorpio's dealing with a Virgo. Somebody want it bad, okay? They feel like they want to have sex with you in the garden, okay? You could be seeing frogs and stuff. This person could have been like, yo, can we have sex outside? This person could have wanted to have sex with you outside. With the seven of cups, this person wants to please you in every way passionable, okay? And when I say passionable, I mean that this Virgo wants to, you know, just be anything you want, okay? They want to be a chameleon for you, all right? And they really want to bust you down on sight. I don't try to do these nasty readings, bro, but I'm just telling you this Virgo got it in pretty bad for you. Ten of Wands, you are this person's everything. Wish fulfillment, best girl they ever seen, finest nigga on the planet. You know what I mean? Just literally, they could have like wrote your name down and manifested you and it was you. You know what I'm saying? All right, so Scorpio's dealing with a Virgo. This person wants everything with you, okay? You're their Ten of Cups. You know what I mean? You, you they wish fulfillment with the Ten of Wands. You they best sexual partner ever, okay? Scorpios, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm telling you the truth, okay? Ten of Wands is all about sexual energy. Wand, penis, come on, let's help you. Let's bust this tarot down, okay? So with this Ten of Wands out here, this person feels like this Virgo or you, Scorpio, feel like this was your best sexual partner ever okay they knew how to lay you down where to touch you how to put you okay okay let's see what's going on with scorpios dealing with a virgo how they feel about it okay so this person feel like you an uh, okay oh well damn okay okay so this person could be bisexual all right um i'm just gonna be honest for some of you guys not not all of you guys all right and the reason why i'm saying that because we got machete male male okay so we got two males okay and they're upside down so you could be dealing with uh we could have same sex reading here okay so you could be a man who deals with men and you could be a man who deals with men and you're in a gay connection okay vice versa it's all here it's a man and a woman a woman and a man man and a man okay and a woman and a woman all right now you are official to this person this person could have put you in a three-way situation especially if you are a man you could be dealing with three men okay um uh you know in a gay connection here okay but if you're in a heterosexual connection i just want to address that first um yeah, this person thought you was, they, they tend to everything. This person is sexually driven by you, okay? Could be even masturbating or just getting off to you when they can. They really, really like you, okay? Also, y'all could have had a passion tonight where, you know, somebody's shirt could have been ripped because y'all just wanted to get it in so damn bad. This person looks at you as the official person. They feel like you're very balanced. You're the best at what you do. Everything you do, you tackle it. We got mature man in reverse and we got main male in reverse, okay? So this person, this Virgo couldn't be your main male, okay? Or your main female, take it as it resonates because they were very immature, okay? This person could have been younger than you as well with mature man in reverse. You could have been on the top of your game. This person could have met you at the peak of your career, Scorpio or Virgo, take it as it resonate. And they just fumbled the ball with you, okay? They were very immature, all right. They did not step up to the plate. They couldn't give you what you asked for, Scorpio. But this person feels like you were the best sexual partner that they ever had. And it looks like this person actually wants to give you something now. OK, this person feel like they missed the ball with you. OK, wow. Oh, man. OK, so this person never came and just cleared things up with you. They never was open with you, um, Scorpio. They never opened up their heart. There was so much attention, um, attraction between the both of you, Scorpio. This person loved you. They thought you was gorgeous. They thought you was fine. You smelled good. You know what I mean? Like you really took care of this person, but this person pulled their energy completely from you. They didn't give you shit. Okay. They were very immature, very self-centered. Okay. 
very just stuck on their own ways, stuck on what they wanted. Okay. And this person communicated with sex. Every time this person wanted to come back in your life or anything, they thought that the best way to do it was through sexual bonding. Okay. Um, this person is going through a lot of life lessons here. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. So this person is going through a lot right now. They're reminiscing on the past, what they did to you, how they treated you, Scorpio. And they just feel like that you didn't deserve it. Okay. They were very immature. This person could have been younger than you. Um, friends and family disapprove of the connection. Okay. Uh, destiny is taking me down different paths. Okay. So you and this person cannot get back together. The, your angels and guides have fully blocked this person from coming towards you. This Virgo cannot be in your life anymore. And it looks like, you know, your friends and your families don't even approve of this connection, Scorpio. They all just came out and be like, yeah, I don't even think you should have been fucking with that nigga. Or I don't even think you should have been fucking with that. But you like, damn, why you didn't tell me? You like, I don't know. You was happy. You know what I'm saying? So your friends could have been telling you the truth about this Virgo after they left your life. I pulled away because I am overwhelmed with all of the things going on in my life. So this person is going through a lot of different stuff. I really feel like this person could be facing a lot of poverty or their money could be a little fucked up right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, but let me go to the Kipper deck and find out, okay, what's going on with this immature male, okay? Yeah, this person could be facing imprisonment. I cannot make this up. So this person, this Virgo could be going to jail or they could be getting put on probation. A lot of things could be really fucked up in this person's life, you know. They could have went down a different path, but they didn't, okay. This person really misses you sexually, but this person could be facing some jail time, all right. This Virgo could be going to jail for some crimes that they did, maybe with PPP loan, okay. And this person is in bad health. They're thinking about how they're not taking their good care of themselves. They could be pretending like they are but they aren't okay this person could have to go to court this person could be on house arrest or probation or this person could do some time here okay and this person is in bad health all right they think about the times when they used to have with you how y'all used to have fun y'all were friends okay uh this person could have tattoos or this person could have no tattoos all right so either y'all have absolutely no tattoos both of you or um, one of you guys or both of y'all have a lot of tattoos. It's just either or, okay? So it's either extremely both none or extremely both you have it. It says new job, you're hired, you got this new job, okay? So collective, you guys could be getting a new job or a new occupation that you're starting and you're going to get it. It's going to be very abundant for you. It's going to bring on a lot of money and success for you. OK, so this person has always hidden their truth from you. They never told you the truth about how they truly feel, um, Scorpio. All right. This Virgo has basically hidden their hand from you completely. They're trying to put up a facade as if they're OK and nothing is wrong. But there's a lot of stuff going on. This person could be facing imprisonment. This person is going through a lot internally. They miss having sex with you or they want to have sex with you in the woods or something like that. They miss the intimacy y'all have. This person could be having really bad health. And this person also wants you to know that they are very jealous that you moved on with your life okay so scorpio this virgo is very jealous of you this person could be sending you the ego evil eye and you could like red roses a lot but this person just wants you to know that they're very jealous of you scorpio for moving the fuck on and living your life in your own divine right and leaving them behind bye y'all see y'all next time